Hey girlies, hey girlies, it's me, your girl Enoch, back on the video. And today we're doing a story time about the time this rapper ate me up, girl. For doom, yay. For doom. Um, just so I can get these out the way, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl's channel. I really do appreciate it. It really helped my channel grow. Um, I've been seeing my videos on the recommended, whatever. So that's everything. We're almost to 1k subscribers, girl. That's crazy. Before the year is out, and I started like actually my, not my, my YouTube series, like this year so this this is this is something with i think i see it on last year but we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there probably because i've been so consistent but we're here okay um another thing is make sure you follow me on some of my social medias below i have everything except for uh, i have facebook i have instagram a snapchat and i have what's called all my anac brooks that's gonna see on the screen right here um, except for my Snapchat, my Snapchat is King underscore simplicity. I, I can't change that for some reason. I don't know. Or if you know how to change your Snapchat name, please let me know. And, uh, or text me on Snapchat, whatever like that, because you're going to add me on, on stuff, right? So yeah, DM me. Another thing is, um, yeah, oh, yes, your girls are having fun. Don't mind this. I was going to point that out for some, anybody else does. Don't mind it. I'm having fun. So yeah. Um... So yeah, I guess that's everything. So let's hop into the story time. All right, girls. So this is T. This is T. This, and this does get a little up and down, up and down. So make sure y'all follow along. Make sure you got your tea, y'all water, like that, okay? Okay, so boom. So I met, we're going to call him Stop Sign. So I met Stop Sign because his name is, well, I, I can say Red. I'm going to say Red. I'm going to call him Red. So I met Red at my J-O-B. Um, if you did not know, I am a lifeguard. Um, so yeah, I'm a, I'm a lifeguard. And this particular day, I had on my lifeguard uniform. I was feeling kind of cute. I kind of like started to take more pride when I go to work. So, you know, I'm going to put on lash. I'm going to fix my eyebrows. You know, so I started to take more pride in um, my appearances at work. So, you know, just a girl trying to look cute. Because when you feel cute, perform nicely, right? And people love to, people seem to enjoy m my appearance too. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but, anyway, long story short, um, I met Red at my job. What happened was that, so the way the the Y I work at now, I guess I work the YMCA, um, the Y I work at now is like this glass, plexiglass that you can look into from the outside to see the pool area. And right by there, there's like this big lifeguard stand, right? So at this time, my friend was on stand and I was walking over to talking to him, you know what I'm saying? Now I saw this guy kind of looking at me out the corner of my eye. I was like, okay, well, let me look at him, see, you know, see what he giving. So I looked over. Too, um, he was cute, um, kind of light brown skin. He was a lock, he had locks, pitiful locks at that, but he had locks and kind of on the bigger side, but he didn't look that big because I guess he had on like big shoes or like that. Like he had a, like he looked like a, like a hoopa, like he was a hoopa. He wasn't the finest nigga in the world, but he was a hoopa. But okay, well he cute. So in my, that's back in my mind, I said, okay, well he cute. So I'm like, okay, well cool, he cute. I say, okay, well let me keep making eye contact. You know, kind of flirting, right? Without really flirting. So we started making more eye contact, eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. And after that, like we had, um, what we do? Oh, so after that, I was like, hey, do because there's a door that you go in, you, that you go through to go into the pool area. So like, hey, do you want to meet me at the door? And he, I, I pointed that way. He, he said, okay, cool. So he got up, came around the door. I was like, hey, you know what I like that. And he was like, oh, you're very beautiful. Can I get your number? I said, sure, like that, cool. So at this point, now this is where disclosure comes, right? So I got his phone number. Um, I got his phone number. Now at this point, it's kind of dangerous. He does know where I work, so that can be, always be a dangerous thing. But I just I said I let him know, and he can't really come in there because he was a guest uh, visitor anyways, and like he a membership man, he come there all the time. And I haven't seen him at my job since then. So, <clears throat> um, so yeah. So I got his phone number. We ended up starting texting in the evening. You know, just getting to know each other a little bit. Um, finally, he, he was on there because he had brothers there and stuff like that. I didn't really get into what, what he really got into. He just, like, just works all over town. I said, okay, well, cool. So, um, so yeah. 
So um, after that, we didn't really, really talk that much. Um, so yeah, we didn't really talk for like a week or so, something like that, like a, a two days or something like that. We didn't really talk. So I kind of let it go. I was like, well, maybe he just, you know, whatever, right? Because he, I mean, he moved around town, so maybe he just doing what he has to do. And so I get a text one night, like, hey, how you doing? You know, we start texting again. I said, I'm doing good. And at this point, I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and let him know I'm trans. Because I don't want to waste, waste my time. B, I don't want to waste his time. If you're not interested, you're not interested. I don't know if it's dragging on, right? So I said, hey, I want to let you know something. So, yo, yo, what's up? I said, hey, like, I am a trans woman. So, you know, like, you know, if you're not into that, that's fine. You know, I'm cool with it, whatever, like that. He said, oh, really? I said, yes. He said, oh, you, you, I mean, you didn't look like, you didn't like it. And guys, that is not a compliment to a trans woman. Oh, you don't look trans. So what are you trying to say about my sisters? Cause some people eyes on clocky, some people eyes on not. You know what I'm saying? So please, like, that's not a compliment. Oh, we don't look like it. Okay. Like, I mean, that's the point of being a trans woman. You're transitioning to a woman. Why would I want to look like the opposite sex if I'm one to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not really a compliment guys. Just to F, just a side note, tell the girl, oh, well, you don't look like it or you don't look trans like that. That is not a fucking compliment, okay? So anyway, he told me that shit. I was like, uh huh, uh huh. Because at this point, it's like, okay, it's kind of crazy. Like, oh, thanks, I guess. And then I was like, yeah, he's like, can I call you real fast? So at this point, guys, that's how I knew he was kind of like, I guess he was kind of big or whatever like that. Because he was like, oh, yeah, can I call you? Because, nigga, one thing about it, and I've come, and I've kind of like come across that. Cause I, I mean, I mess with like I've messed with, or I, I guess I talk to, you know, some people that have like a, a following or like this like in the industry or like coming up in the industry something like that. And um, you know, they always love love, love saying, hey, "Can I call you?" Because you know they can chase the, they can chase the back unless like you were, like you screen record. But I don't really care to screen record, girl. Like I know what happened. Why would I lie? But girl, I don't know. But anyway. Um, so I said, sure. So we ended up talking on the phone. He was like, yeah, I know you were um, trans, but I really want to like, you know, mess with you because I think you're so beautiful. Blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, cool. So that's when um, we started talking a little bit more about everything. But this, at this point, it become more sexual. And one thing about it, when you're dating guys and like that, it always becomes sexual for some reason. After you just close to them that you are a trans woman, it always becomes so sexual. Like everything, I'm like, oh, the sky is blue. Oh yeah, my, my, my jaw is blue too. Like what, what, what correlation? Like where, where? It's annoying, right? It's very annoying, but whatever. So, um, yeah, so after that, I was like, okay, cool. So I kind of like started paying him a little more because I'm like, well, I'm not really into sexual things. I Meanwhile, well, I got to get my neck. But I was like, I'm not really into sexual things. Um, you know, stuff like that. He said, well, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to explore. I want to explore. I was like, well, that's not really me. I'm so sorry. I'm tired of being people's um, projects, science projects. So I said, you know what? I'm going to have to let you go. But, you know, it was fun talking to you. We're like that. Cool. Um, uh, you know, never talked to me again. He deleted my phone number, apparently. I deleted his, or at least I thought he deleted my phone number. And I, but I deleted his, been talked to him, hear him for months. So your girl was on, um, bivamid.com, and I saw Red. And at first I knew, I was like, mm, because the last time I saw him in a mask on, I really get, I never got a chance to actually look at his face. I was like, no, I remember the locks. The locks look just like him, right? So me being messy, I just typed right. And of course, we matched. Never said anything. Ne never said anything on um, backbeme.com, but we just matched right like that. Cool. So I kid you not. Two days later, I get a text message, and meanwhile, I was texting this other Trey I hook up with every so often when we come to town. Um, so I was like, okay, well, let me. I'm texting him right now. So and you know, sometimes he texts me from different numbers, so I really can't tell who it, when everything is unless you know I, I ask like, hey, is this Johnny or like that? And my phone number, I don't give it out to a lot of people, but people do have my phone number. So sometimes I don't say numbers like that unless you like a friend or like a family member. So I have a lot of like numbers I regularly recognize through like the either the area code or the the things right next to it. So like, say it was a four four eight number or it's a three three three, you know, it's like that. So cool. Um, so I was texting my other trade and I would, I mean, I was thinking about Rojo and I was thinking about Red and, um, so yeah, I was, I was really thinking about him. Long story short, um, I'm texting, I'm texting this new number that I thought was Johnny. I was like, hey, it's just Johnny. This boy gonna say, yes, it's Johnny. Um, hey, I think I want to, you know, meet up with you. I'm like trying to meet with you like that. 
I'm texting back. I'm like, okay, cool. Cause I'm in my head. I'm like, Johnny, we met before. Like, why would he? Why would you need to meet up with me? But sometimes I guess I mean in my back of my head, I guess he was trying to play like dumb or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what was. I don't know why I didn't connect things together at that moment. But whatever. So, cause I'm like, oh, of course, babe. You can always pull up with me. Like it is what it is. Like just let me know. He said, cool. I was like, yeah. So I was like, well, you know, right now I don't have a car and I don't, you know, I said, mom. So I was like, well. You know, um, no, you can pull up on me, but we have to go somewhere else, you know, if, if we need to link up. He said, cool, what like that? But me and Johnny, I was it. Because Johnny, every time he comes to town, he gets to Airbnb, a hotel, whatever like that. So I don't have to worry about, you know, because he already know my situation. But I, again, I thought he was trying to, I guess, role play or something like that. He was like, yeah, okay, cool. He's like, well, I think I want to, um, you know, put on a mask and come in there and rob you. But, you know, I end up, you end up taking control of me and stuff like that. I said, Okay, I was like, well, Johnny, you know my situation. I can't really do that. He was like, oh, word, like you can't sneak through, you know, you can't sneak me through like the window or something like that. At least text messages, sorry. At least I text messages like can't sneak. sneak um, I, I wish I wish I had. I'm gonna start screenshotting shit, putting in my story times, because down because I know some people be like, bitch, you lying, but I'm like, I'm promising I'm not. This is crazy. Um. You can't see me through the window, through your bedroom, or something like that. I was like, yeah, no. I was like, I'm not having, first of all, for me to invite you in my house means I really, really fuck with you. No, okay? And this is just a hookup. Johnny, again, Johnny is, is Trey. I see every, what, seven months? So I was like, no, I don't trust you with that. And plus, again, we always get like a hotel room. So like, like he always pays a hotel room or something like that. You know, we in town. So I was like, well, no. I was like, well, we can just go somewhere else. Cool, whatever that. So he said, I'm on my way, get dressed. I got dressed, I put my sticky link clothes, girl, nothing but, but a shirt and tights. I come outside and I was like, well, this one like really Johnny's car, but I didn't really think about it. Girl, I open up the door. Tell me why Red had on a ski mask. And this was like, it was hot outside. I don't know what time it is, but it was hot outside. This thing had on a whole ski mask, girl. I mean, Ski mask, all black. Girl can barely see his fucking hands. And I remember, and, and I, remember I, I remembered in the telling he was like, you know, I don't think I want to, you know, play robber. Bitch, I think Nick was serious. He was dead ass. Like he was like, like bitch, he was he was dead ass. Like bitch, he was like, no, I'm play robber. Like he was he was ready to, to, to commit crimes. So I'm like, I started laughing. I said, Girl, I know this ain't who I think it is. Child, he said, oh, yeah. I fell out laughing. But I didn't fall out laughing too much while I didn't get the car. <laughs> so, yeah. So he come on to my thing, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 I'm laughing, I'm laughing, I'm laughing. I'm like, yo, it was funny, it was funny, it was funny. I said, you, like, you know, you sitting here acting like you Johnny and you not Johnny, like, wh what's going on? Like, if you if you want to, you know, you could just say, hey, this is so-and-so, you know, this is red. Like, why would you lie to me? Okay. So at that point, he was like, well, you know, I want to be surprised when this process said, ain't no surprise. It's like, this is Sneaky Link. I need to know who I'm going with. Like, that's dangerous as fuck. Like, why the fuck why not go with it? Even though I still went, I mean, I knew him now, so I wasn't like, whatever. But still, yeah. So after that, um, you know, we made the block. We went to a little area. Girl, he ate me for doom. He pulled down my pants, um, whipped down my unicorn stick, girl, and went to town. Girls like e -N, e n e n e n e n e n e n. I mean, some of the best. He, he was a good eater. <laughs> he was a good eater. I'm not gonna hold you, girl. He was a good. He was a good he eater, girl. And he was busy eating me up, girl. I guess it about so much, girl. He ended up doing. He ended up coming everywhere. He needs to do something. So I was like, okay, well, I got. And I just got some head, like some bomb man's head. That's everything. So after that. Because I'm going to get to my section because, I mean, eventually, girl, who knows? This might, like, blow up and I don't want this to, like, you know. But, anyway. So, after that, uh, you know, of course, we went home. I blocked his phone up after that because, like, I don't want to see his ass. I'm like, he's 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 ugly. But he, he was not ugly enough um, to give me his ass. But he was ugly, though. So, after that, I blocked him. Never heard him again. And then, again, one time, because I, I deleted black before, like, between now and, 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 well, between then and now, I deleted black. So, I bas I recently got back on black, you know, just to see whatever, the, who's out there. And, um, so I see him, I match him again, just be messy. Of course, we matched. So, this time um, around, I went to his bio, and I was like, oh, he has an Instagram. I went to his Instagram. Girl, it turns out he a whole ass rapper. Like, a, like, a Houston, like, he got videos and, like, Num like he had a following, like he has a following following. 
and I didn't know that at first. Like, okay, well, cool. Like, he worked with, like, some, you know, like some I guess some quote-unquote hitters in Houston in the rap game. And it's so funny because literally I have messed with, I've talked to a singer, I've talked to a producer, um, I was like, I've talked to people in the industry, which is so funny to me. But, now, girl, I'm still waiting for my NFL, NBA player to hit my ass up. And I'm doing me one. I almost had one nigga. But that's a whole other story time. Girl, he almost gave me herpes, bitch. But that's a whole other story time, girl. But yes, honey. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Girl, he ate me for doom, girl, in the being a rapper. I don't know if he's going to blow up or not, girl. If he do, he do. If he don't, he don't. Whatever like that. You know, I hope the best for him. But it was just funny money because, baby, he ate me for doom. Like, the rest of the girls, if you ever meet Red, girl, he'll eat you for doom. Like, he gonna eat you for doom, bitch, mama. Like, he was eating, girl. Like, eating, bitch, when I say eating, girl, like, I was his last man before he could, before he went to death penalty, girl. I mean, he was eating, okay? Girl, no crumbs left, bitch. And then asked for the check, girl. And then left the tip, girl. He, 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 he was eating so good. But yeah, that was pretty much it on the whole story time, girl. I never saw him again. Of course, I was on his Instagram, so I was like, okay, cute. But of course, I ain't gonna message him, child. I just delete his shit, because again, I don't want, I don't want him. I was just, I just want to be nosy, see what he gonna do. But yeah, um, with that being said, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the story time. I know this one came along, so yay for y'all. Um, and yeah, if you have any more suggestions on story times, or what if y'all have any advice, I want to, you know, I'm all about advice, all about spiritual healing right now, so um uh she has some hair content coming too too soon so yeah so just let me know what y'all want or, what or what some ideas that y'all have um again leave some questions down below if you want to ask me some questions i am doing a q a soon enough so you know just ask some questions um make sure you follow me on instagram snapchat all the other stuff someone i post on there if i post like a poll or something like that y'all can see it y'all can vote on the future content um so yeah honeys i will see y'all in the way the way the way the next one. I love you guys. I thank you girls. And I appreciate you for everything. And yeah. Bye.